Have you ever caught a fish? Many Texans love to go fishing. It's an awesome family outdoor activity. Sometimes it's so peaceful to sit and look at the beautiful view. But of course, it is much more fun when you actually catch a fish. The folks with Texas Parks and Wildlife Department think so too. That is why they work so hard to keep our neighborhood fishing ponds stocked with fish. So how do they do this? Let's find out. Come along with me to the Dundee Fish Hatchery, just a few miles outside of Wichita Falls, Texas. My name is John Perrette, and I'm, I'm the hatchery manager at Dundee State Fish Hatchery. I've been with Parks and Wildlife almost 27 years. I was able to meet with John, Brandon, and Wesley out at the hatchery the other day and find out what they do. The fish that you see here are fathead minnows. Maybe you've used them for as bait. Watch as the staff are measuring and weighing them to keep track of how many they have to use for foraging. Why do you think they're weighing the fish in that wooden box? You could get some questions. If they were out on the ponds, yeah. the reason for the box is to block the wind. Because the fish are so small, the mm -hmm. difference in the weight between the between the fish and just the water is, is uh, can be changed very very easily just from the wind blowing. So there's a skill actually in the box. That's why we do the five samples so that we have a, a good weighted average. Because I mean it's kind of hard to count and get an exact amount, but. Usually over five samples, we can get a good weighted average. That'll be a, a good representation of the entire pond. That's cool. And so when you get to food size fish, like nine to 12 inch channel catfish, it is very, it's very consistent and we can have consistent sizes in ponds. We don't have big variation. Just with, with fat heads, man, oh, these are, these are kind of separate from that. Mm -hmm. Everything else we grow is a single age class. And so their growth is very consistent. So this is, this is the biggest, yeah. It's probably the most exists. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, probably year, one year old fish and two month old fish in this mm -hmm. same sample. So. And sort of like what he was saying too about the using the box for the wind, every little bit of that can move because like as you saw right here, just half a gram was multiple fish. So it went from 0.45 was 68 fish to 0.65 was 121 fish. And if that wind just kind of carried that and took it to a 0.7, then you know our numbers are going to be off by a decent amount. So that's why we try to take out, you know, every precaution we can to make sure, you know, so it's like whenever you pulled up the net, you kind of sit here and you rake off all the water so that no droplets of water go in there. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have a good solid uh, measurement. Now that we've seen the fish that are raised to be food for other fish, Let's move on to the building where they raise the fish from eggs to adult. And then eventually, these will end up in your neighborhood fishing pond. Most of the systems we have in here use using tea cups, so we can control the water cups. Anything we're doing in here, especially related to hatching, we have to have control over, over, over the eggs. Probably at least three quarters of this is gonna be full. Or, all the jars will be turned the other direction, and there's going to be eggs in here. The water will pass through the through the jars and, and, and bubble the eggs. These are all female or mama fish, and they will soon lay eggs that will be fertilized to grow into baby fish. Let's go take a look at some of the eggs that are almost ready to hatch. These are very small. There could easily be 100 to 200,000 eggs in the field. They're tiny. That's, that's one of the other things. Like I'm, I'm used to the structures and I thought that was. When these eggs hatch, they'll grow into fingerlings. When they've grown to the correct size, they are then taken outdoors to the containment ponds that were built in 1927. They're almost a hundred years old. Watch now while the staff member feeds the catfish in the pond. This is probably the first time they've been fed. 
Texas Parks and Wildlife has made a lot of improvements since 1927 at the fish hatchery. And now they are one of the largest state hatcheries operating in Texas. When the fish are in the ponds, the staff has to make sure that they get enough food to eat and to stay healthy and strong. They can also conduct research to find out what is the best and healthiest food to feed the fish. They keep a close watch out for dangerous viruses that can make the fish sick. They do water testing on a daily basis to make sure the conditions are just right for the fish to stay healthy. They uh, dissolve oxygen levels and pH on a daily basis. Um, both, so in the winter it's once a day and then uh, we're going to be starting twice. As you can see, there are a lot of interesting jobs to do at the fish hatchery. Next time you go out to fish at a local pond, you may catch one of these, thanks to the staff at Dundee State Fish Hatchery. Maybe someday you can work for Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and help keep fish in the lakes and ponds of Texas.